Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. Yes, teacher. Good, good. How was your day today? Did good you... evening. Good evening. So how was your day? Did you guys do anything uh, different? No, just work. <laughs> just work, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. It's the 18th of June. Yes. Okay. Yes. Briefly, can we mention what we spoke about yesterday? First conditional, teacher. Right. First the conditional. First conditional. What is the first conditional? What is the function of it? When do you use it? Uh huh. When um, if you don't don't uh, do uh, do something now, it will be affect in the future. Okay, good. So if you don't do something now, or if you do something now, there will be a consequence, um, a result in the future. Good. Uh, when we use the first conditional, not necessarily um, there will be a, a consequence or a result for sure, but you can also use it a possibility. So you can tell um, your one of your friends, if you start saving money, maybe you will have enough to buy a car in December. So the result is not mandatory, but it can also be a possibility, right? Um, what are the models that we use to express possibilities? Who remembers? Might. Might, good. What else? Will. What is it? Will. Will. Will, may, might. May, might, okay. Sure, because you use will when you are saying that there's going to be a result, there's going to be a consequence. So for possibilities, may, might, could, and so on. Okay, what else did we talk about? Mm. What was another topic that we discussed yesterday? Who remembers? Did we talk about something else? What was yesterday's holiday? Father's, Father's, Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. So there was a small question and answers about Father's Day. Right. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No? No, teacher. Okay. So let us um, start our first activity by using <clears throat> um, first conditional. Do you see the worksheet? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Let me find you guys, 8 to 9 p.m. It's right here. Take a picture or you can get a screenshot if you wish. So remember, when we use the first conditional, what we do is we put conditions. And depending on those conditions, uh, there will be a, a, a consequence or result in the future. Uh, did you get the image? Yes, I received. Okay. So right now, let me make um, the pairs. 
a friendly reminder, don't forget to do your activities in the platform. Okay, so right now you're gonna be asking, uh, you will be complimenting the exercises that we have there. Here we go. There. Ricardo.
My my boys, my boys will get angry if I don't buy buy them uh, a toy. A toy. If I don't buy them a toy. Ten dollars. Or, or what? Say here. I'll give you ten dollar if you wash my car. Ah oh, yeah. Yeah, or I will give you ten dollar if you. Mm. I don't know. Make my homework. Yes, and uh. if you <laughs> if you borrow me your phone. Ah oh, yeah. If you lend me the phone. If you lend me your phone. Okay. If he doesn't take a bus. Two ten dollars. Is I have the work? No. If you help me to do something, right? Mm -hmm. I will give you ten dollars if you help me to do something in my job. Right, for example. Uh -huh. Okay. If you help me, if you go with me to to shopping, if yeah. you go if you go to to buy with me to the stores, if you help me to study. About a, it is about a girl that um she doesn't has parents and they she came to a, a to sit at home with um a brother and a sister. And she started to, to study and has a, a big imagination. It's, it's a really cool, cool program. Wow. Interesting. Yes. yes. You must see it. <laughs> What's the name of the program? I, teacher, I don't know. How do you say in English? Uh, serie. Serious. Serious. Yes. Yes. Uh, the name uh -huh. is and with E. Okay. It's so good. Okay, good. And, and it's in English. Uh, yes, but I I try to see in English and put the sub subtitles. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Which number are you doing now? We already finished, teacher. Okay, good. Let me check on this. Yeah, can be. Um, if you don't, you don't watch that movie. You, you will. Hi, I don't know. Um. You will not answer the chance. You may not answer. Sorry, teacher. Uh, what What was your answer, Henry? The answer is if you if I don't watch that movie, I I can I can answer the fan. Okay. Good. Which number is that? Thirteen. Okay, good. We got like one more minute. Okay. Um, my boss will get uh, that that movie. It's correct. If I don't watch that movie, it's correct. Yes, it's correct. Okay. If I don't watch that movie, I I want to know. How about the plot is? Si no veo esa película, it's okay. If I don't watch that movie, si no veo esa película, I won't be, I won't know. I will not know how the plot is. ¿Cuál es el drama? 
okay i i Mm -hmm. Is I don't watch that the movie. You mm -hmm. know they finish the movie. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's good because it's natural, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. The number fourteen. It says my my boss. boss my boss will get angry. Uh huh. My boss will get angry. If I, uh, if I get to my work late every day. Yes. Oh, my boss will get angry if I don't finish my work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. exactly. All right. We'll go back to the main session now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. All right, um, are there any questions with the exercise you guys just finished? No questions? No, no teacher. Okay, so just, just keep something in mind. Um, the first conditional is something that you do now with a possibility of having a result in the future or you know that there will be a result in the future so um, just remember that in the next level you guys will be able to talk about the second conditional which the structure is very different and the and the meaning of each sentence is very different as well all right so let's practice some reading now how many times have you been in love? Have you been in love before? Yes, teacher. Me two times. Two times. All right. What about the others? Oh, maybe your husband or wife is next to you, huh? <laughs> They're no. listening to the class. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Many times. Many times. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So That's anyways. Close. <laughs> All right. So the article is about falling in love. What do you think is, is more difficult? Falling in love or staying in love? Staying in love. Staying in love. Staying in love. <laughs> okay. Staying in love. Yep. Now what what techniques or what advice would you give someone to stay in love? What would you having a good, a good communication. Good, having a good communication. Very good. That's very, very important. Listen to the other person. Aha, uh -huh. listening. Yes. What else, people? Take care about about the other person needs or problems and even the, if he is angry or something. Right. Take care about. Right, right. Anybody else? Any suggestions? Um, yes, it's necessary to have a um, good um, good habits in our, so the relationship and it could be better, right? It's necessary to be loyalty, honestly with the person beside sure. you. Yeah, yeah, you have to be loyal, you have to be transparent, you have to be uh, honest with the person, you know, that's yeah. very, very important. Yeah. Okay, so the reading is about, like I said, it's about <laughs> falling in love. Let me share the... Now, where is this? Uh -huh. That's not it. It's... Okay, can you see the image? No, not yet. No. Okay. Not so, yet. All right, let me 
share screen, photos. Do you see it now? Yes. 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 Okay, what's the name yeah. of the article? Are you in love? Are you in love? No. Are you in love? Is the answer yes or no in your case? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, good. I'm in love of myself, teacher. Good. good. Very good. good yeah, that's, 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 that's the best person you can love, yourself. Yes. That's good. Okay, so look at the question we have in the blue uh, box. It says, what's the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Who can answer that question? Teacher, I uh -huh. think that, that a crush is a, is an impossible love. Okay. For example, my crush is Chris Evans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, usually when you have a crush, it's someone impossible or it's very temporary, you know. So that, that's a good example, you know, like uh, when, when you say, well, someone that is, it's not possible. Someone else wants to give another answer for that question? Uh, for example, uh, crush, I can see here right now in the translator is a special person, right? For someone. Uh-huh. Yeah, crush is when you have, uh, sometimes you think that you love the person, but a few weeks after you realize it was only a crush. You know, okay. yeah, you feel passion for this person, but it's, it's, it's not really love. But anyway, okay. anybody else wants to answer that question? Maybe a crush is the, the, the low of at first looking, maybe. Uh huh. Okay, low but, at first. Uh huh. Uh, be, uh, being love is maybe you know him and and you know you love the all 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 the people is uh, the way he talk the way uh, i don't know love the people not just the the face maybe okay good good yeah so what you're saying is you know you love the person not what you see so that that's good <clears throat> Someone else wants to give another definition, the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Yes, for me, uh -huh. uh, having a crush is like more physical love and falling in love is more emotional. Okay, it's, that's a very interesting question. Answer. Or maybe, yeah. so, or maybe, so to speak, a uh, platonic love. <laughs> okay, right, right. Yeah, that's what your friend said at first when she said, well, having a crush is someone impossible, someone platonic, right. Okay. Someone else wants to give your opinion? No? Okay, so let's, let's start with the reading. Remember that when you see a period, you're supposed to stop. If there is a comma, you make a pause. If you see a question mark, your intonation has to be of a question. If you see an exclamation mark, same thing. Your uh, intonation has to be a little bit different. So I need the first okay. volunteer, please. Me. Okay, please. You think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person. But this has happened before, and it was just a crush. How can you tell if... It's real this time. Here's what our reader said. Thank you. All right. Any questions with the part Ricardo just read? I think that is uh, what we just uh, talking about. If, uh huh. If in sometimes in our life it happened the same, the same situation, right? Uh huh. To, to be okay. in love with someone, to be in love in, or, or about someone that we can how in a real life, right? Okay, so what are the signals that it's real love? How do you know that it's real love and it's not only a crush? Anybody? 
How how do you know that you really love someone? What are the signals that you get? <laughs> do you remember when you first met your husband, your wife, boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend? What were those feelings that you were you had for this person? It's a big impression, right? To see someone that really like you. Okay. All right. So so I what are, I uh -huh. I want to spend time with her and know her. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you want to spend time, you want to know her. Good. Another signal that it's real <laughs> love? I feel butterfly in this. What is it? I feel a butterfly in the stomach. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, yes. It's true. You have that sensation that you said, man, this is unique, you know, like, uh, this is love. The reading right. that you have is, is faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are different things you can mention, like you feel butterflies in your stomach, uh, different things. You, you, you never stop thinking about the person. You're always thinking about him or her. Yeah. Different things. Okay, so let's let's read the first part. If you're falling in love, uh, volunteer, please. Only one. I can. I yes, can read. Please. Okay, please. <laughs> You'll find yourself talking talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You may pretend there is a reason, but often there is not. All right. Good. So you call the person apparently without a reason, but you know there is a reason, and that reason is love. Okay. okay. All right. Second, second paragraph. Someone else, please. I can read it. Yes, please, Victor. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. All right, good. So you find yourself talking about this person all the time. Any questions with the part uh, Victor just read? Yeah, that is true. No. All right, okay. Another volunteer to read the next one? Me, teacher. All oh. right, please, Gloria. <clears throat> You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her, her all about football, I know she's falling in love, say a TV sport announcer. All right, good. Yeah, so if a woman knows about sports, maybe it's a sign she's falling in love or she fell in love. Okay, another volunteer to read the next paragraph, please. Me. All right, please. Okay, so you falling in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you are still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. All right, good. Any questions there, any comments? Teacher, what is the meaning of <clears throat> nevertheless? Nevertheless. Yeah, nevertheless. It says, but this person will nevertheless. Uh-huh. Anybody can explain nevertheless? So in this case, according to this particular sentence, it will be like something inevitable. 
inevitable. Oh. The person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Inevitable. Okay. Yes. Any other questions related with meaning or pronunciation? No. Okay, and I need the last volunteer to read this. The last one. Uh huh. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling uh -huh. is great, staying in low is even better. All right, good. Thank you. All right, um, any questions about the part um, Ricardo just read? Anybody? Any questions or comments? In this case, I, I think that when the relationship starts, um, both in the couple have uh, some afraid, right? To know some things uh, hiding from the other person, right? Uh -huh. For example, for example, in his or her moods, right? If the person in the future, you realize that he's um, too much angry or too much um, different the way you see it for the first time, maybe uh, this is like, this is the, the, the main uh, feeling that, that we can uh, have, right? But however, when the, when the time passes and you, um, and you realize that you can live with that person for all the entire life, that is the really staying in love. All right, good, good. All right, so after we have finished reading this, I will assign you to working pairs again and just summarize. Uh, you will tell your friend if you agree or if you disagree. And if you want to share something about your experience, your personal experience, go ahead okay. and do it too. So let me, um, add a room. So we'll have, go to room five and go to room five. All right, here we go. talk if they uh, express their feelings with freedom I, I don't know it's, it's what I like think 12 o'clock or 1 a.m. Um, yeah well, yeah it is a lot of time yeah and uh, what about you well for me actually I am I'm agree with that but I think Mm. Your heart beat faster, right, for that person. But however, in this paragraph says that um, 
this situation happened several times, right? But how we are, how we are going to know or uh, be sure that this time is a real law, right? Yes. And the first uh, paragraph says, if you are falling in law, I'm going to read it. You will find yourself talking to or telephoning the person. It's exactly. more common than an, a message in the, in the WhatsApp that now is usual that you can you call to the other person. Yes. Let me see the second. You'll find yourself bring bringing this person into every converse, every conversation. When I was, it's important. Uh, uh, the the communication for this topic. Yes, and and that the the two persons in in the couple are felt comfortable with the other, not just be uh, forced to be together. That's the, the, that will help to be, to stay in love, that, uh, that they are free in their relation to, to tell what, what the feelings or how how each other feels about about their relationship, and like you said, uh, knowing the experience, I really, I really, I don't know who do you say, decepcionado, creo que es disappoint, disappointed, disappointed, disappoint. disappoint about the love. So I think that 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 we have to to start loving ourselves. And when you are full of love, you can share this love with the other person. And if the correct pe person uh, arrives to your life, and if if they if he or her le left you, if you have enough of love of yourself, it can be be hard for you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Good. All right, you guys finished? Yeah, we finished it. All right, good. Let's go back to the main session. <laughs> Thank. All right. Um any questions or comments about the reading we just finished? No. No? No, teacher. Okay. All right, let's talk about something completely different. We're gonna be talking about work. If you apply for a, for a job, regardless, it can be uh, something professional, it can be a taxi driver, it can be a plumber, it can be a doctor, whatever what kind of questions do they ask you uh, in the job interview? What do they ask you? What is your experience? Okay, they ask you about the experience, right? What else? If about you... the skills. Uh-huh, your skills. What kind of skills? And mm, social skills. Okay. Can you give us example, one example of a social skill? Mm. How to manage some situations in your oh. work. Uh-huh, right. How to respond in particular scenarios, right. Yes. What else? Okay. Anything else? What is it? Leadership. Yeah, leadership. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. If you have some some problems with the law. Okay, yes. If you have a police record, good. Yeah. Okay. 
Anything else that they might ask you in a job interview? What are your, your strengths and your weaknesses? Okay, yeah. About your job. Good, your strengths and weaknesses. Yes. Yeah. All right. Or Many persons of... Uh-huh, go ahead. How many persons of your family depends on you? Okay, good. Yes, they ask sure. you that. How many people depend on you, financially sure. speaking? Right. Any others? What salary do you want to earn? One more time, please. What salary do you want to earn? Yeah. What salary do you want to earn? What are your salary expectations, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And how do you answer to that particular question from Henry? When they ask you, what are your salary expectations? Do you tell them an estimate or do you go a little bit higher than what people are usually making? When I have a job interview, and some years ago, I put my salary expectations a little above uh -huh. of the, of the uh, expected, right? Because in this situation, uh, the, the boss will try to, to, get, to arrive to a common agreement, right, about salary. Right, right. Because you can say, look, I'm okay with $100, but they will pay you more than 100 you can say $5,000. It doesn't mean they will give you 5,000. The boss, the owner will come to a point where, you know, you negotiate or they offer you and look, this is what we have. Take it or leave it. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any other questions they ask you in a job interview? Why do you want this job? Uh-huh. Why do you want this job? Right. Good. Anybody else? They ask about the, the experience that you have. Right. Yes. And what it, is the reason? What is the reason so you are um, trying to get this new job? Why did right. you leave your previous job? Right. Yeah, they ask you about your previous job. Why yeah. did you leave it, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so there is a small conversation uh, let me see, where is it? It's right here. Mm -hmm. You go next. 4.12. You go next. Give me a second. Give me a second, it's loading. Five point oh, and here we are. Okay, let me let me put this on mute. Mute. Okay, so let me share the screen with you. Do you see the, the screen, the conversation? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. I need a job. All right, so we have Dan and we have Brad. We have two people in the conversation. So, uh, I need two volunteers to read the, the conversation. Can you read it? Are the letters clear? 
more or less. No. Okay. I get a little fast. Yeah, it's not that mm -hmm. clear. Okay, so who can read this without any problems? I can see it, but I, I have glasses. Uh, who can read this? I can read it. Okay, so you're Dan, and who's going to be Brad? I can try. Okay, please, go ahead. I'm so broke, I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. Diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I am not good at selling. Well, I am. I may check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise, a cruise ship. It, say, it says uh, here you here. have to work. Here you have to work every day while the ship is in sea, at sea. Uh huh. Hello, hello. Who was the other person reading? Me, me, sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the, the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's five, 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 three, four, five, five. Five, five. All right. <laughs> All right. A lot of fives there. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Any questions about the conversation? Yeah, I have I have one. Yes. Uh, the, like the upper, the deeper, I don't know how. Diapers. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. Diapers. Yeah. The, the 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 letters are not too clear. They're a little bit blurry, so but you guys were able to read it. Uh, that's good, thanks. Okay, any other questions about uh, the conversation? No? Uh, no. Okay, so um, I will assign you to work in pairs again. You can okay. take a a screenshot from the from the image that I'm sharing right now, or if you wish, let me see it. Eight to nine p.m. I hope I get a nice shot from here. I can see it. Yeah, it should work. So once again, you can take a screenshot from 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 this image or I already sent it to the WhatsApp chat too. So let me okay. put you again in pairs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Rick. I will send you to room one. All right, here we go. Please return me to to the main room. Okay, hold on. Victor, you are
Okay, I will put you in five. Okay. Lewis goes to two. You still there, Victor? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it doesn't read your your presence, the platform. <laughs> okay. I moved you to two uh, different groups and none of them reads you. Let's check with number one. Hopefully that one's gonna Let me check this here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um who is gonna be first? You if you want. Okay. I'm so broke. I'm really need to find a job. Okay, so do I, do you see anything good uh, listed on the internet? How about this? A uh, door-to-door salesperson to sell baby products? Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyways, I'm not good selling. Well, I am. I might to check I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on the, the person. Okay, okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see do you see anything good listen listen list list list? list. List. How do you say listed? Listed? Yeah, listed. 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 Okay, listed on the internet. How about this? A door to door salesperson to sell baby products. Well, baby I'm products. Nothing. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might shake that. That one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, what is the phone number? It's five, 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 three, four, five, five. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Victor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Yeah, I don't know what happened to your case that <laughs> you couldn't adapt to any of the groups. Okay, no problem. All right, good. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions about today? No, 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 no. I have a question. Sorry. Yes, Luis. Uh, yes. Chris, uh, cruise ship. What is the correct pronunciation? Cruise, cruise, cruise ship. Cruise ship. Yes. Cruise, 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 cruise ship. ship. Right. Okay. Any, thank you. All right, anything else? Anybody else? No. No? Okay, so once again, thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you thank Monday you. at eight o'clock. You have a nice weekend. Okay, thank you, like, okay, thank likewise, you. teacher. All right. Yes? Someone call me? No? Oh, I didn't say bye, teacher. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye-bye.